What? Legends, what is you doing? You know, I woke up this morning and I wasn't really feeling too good, so I called into work and because I was feeling really dizzy and very nauseous, and I decided, you know what, Connor, just take the day off. Uh, just rest, so I took a nap, woke up, and I'm like, alright, let's just check Legends out, because I forgot there wasn't a maintenance last night, so I couldn't play it last night, so I, I got on there just to see what they added, I saw the new banners, the events, and everything, I was like, oh, it's good, I can't wait to see what's gonna happen, and what they added, and I see what they added, and I'm like, bro, wait, what? I look at the news, and there's new banners and events, original series stories, stuff like that, like I said, and I look at each and every single one of these updates and new things, and I... I just can't help but be disappointed in almost everything they added. Now, this Legends Premium one they came out with is definitely not my favorite. It's probably one of the worst banners they've had, well, in my in recent memory for me, because I haven't really played the game for a long time, but I, it's just not good. The fact that it's pretty much a big, huge money grab, I'm not going to do it. It's just a waste of time, in my opinion. If you guys want to go ahead and do it, that's all you, that's your money. But I'm not going to do it. I recommend you guys to not do it. Just skip it. Wait for a different banner because this one is just terrible. I mean, like, yeah, you get that Team Gohan. Possibly. They do have that one guaranteed sparking one, which is a little bit more fair this time. You have a less of a list. You have a small list. So you have, I think, one Goku, a Kid Gohan, the rest Team Gohan, a Adult Gohan, Future Gohan, stuff like that. So it's a little bit smaller and you have a better chance of getting that Team Gohan. But the fact is, are you going to get him? Probably not, so I wouldn't really go for it if you want to go ahead like I said, but honestly, it's just it's just not good I'm, I'm pretty disappointed in it, and I hope they uh, they, don't, they, they don't do this ever again because it's just it's it's just so stupid It just it blows my mind like it just disappoints me. It's like bro. Why why are you making us pay? $16 to get one of those golden tickets to get one of those guaranteed sparkings and then four just Four of those silver tickets just to open, not even open, just do single summons basically, because you have to buy pretty much three, so you're paying over 30 bucks just to get one consecutive summon for this Legends Premium. It's like, oh my god, like Legends, you're killing me. That that is just not good. That it's just not good enough for a banner like that, man. Like it. Why can't I use crystals? Maybe get the option for the silver tickets for single summons or do something different, you know? That's probably a bad idea, to be honest. But uh, you know what I'm saying, you know? Just make a different idea, have a different kind of thing going so we can have those silver tickets be used in a different way because it's just like, no, I'm not paying 16 bucks or more just for this banner. It's ridiculous. Like, I'll, I'll maybe go for the Legends Android one just because I want to get, to get that sell. But it's like, no, I'm not wasting money on that banner. No. God, no. So I see the Cell Games 2, and I'm pretty hyped for that. You know, I, I look at it, and I'm like, okay, so let's see what this is about. And I, I realize that it's about the Red Cell. And nobody really cares about the Red Cell. He's not that good. He's not as good as the Yellow Cell. The Yellow Cell is by far the best in the game. He's OP. He's fantastic in PvP. And I'm like, okay, if this was the Yellow Cell, I'd be down. I'd be on this thing 100%. I would grind the crap out of it. But no, it's not, so I'm not going to deal with it. I might do it for maybe some easy crystals if they give you a good amount but other than that I probably won't do it because I, mean, I don't need it but other than that I went over to the banner and because you know that's the only uh, good way to getting this cell and uh, you there's a guaranteed sparking one. Oh, sweet awesome guaranteed sparking one all right let's see is the list high is there a lot of sparkings in that yeah of course there is the whole entire list is just full of different sparking there's Pycon, Piccolo's, Deborah there's all these different ones in there and it's like bro I'm not doing that like, it's just there's no way I'm going to get that cell in that guaranteed sparking one. If they, if they made it only Android specific in there, all Android sparkings, maybe you have a better chance. But since there's all these different ones in that one guaranteed sparking one, I'm not doing it. I already did it before in the Vegeta one, and I'm not doing it again. And I'm not sure I said this already, but in the they did add a new guaranteed one. I'm not sure when this happened, as I haven't really been on Legends that much because it's been kind of dead. But they did add that new guaranteed one where you can literally go into the guaranteed, buy it, and you'll probably get Vegeta 14 or 15. So you have a better chance of getting just those three, which is awesome. I, I like that how they changed that one. But before that, man, uh, I got screwed so hard. Oh, my God. It, before they updated that, I got Super Trunks, and I was like, what's the point? <laughs> like, what was the point of me doing that guaranteed sparking if I wasn't going to get one of those three characters? I got nothing. I was like, this is this is jokes. Now, before I go on to the other stuff, I do want to talk about the Star Event real quick, which I know came out, you know, a little later down the road, a little earlier. 
Um, it came out, I think, maybe a week ago, I think. I don't know. It's kind of a letdown, honestly. It's just like, it's just an energy sucker. There's no way you're able to do that that many times. If you want to get 12,000, yes, 12,000 star pieces. It's like, which is just, in my mind, it feels like impossible, which I know it's possible, but it's like, I know it's going to take so much time. The grind's going to be insane. And I just do not have the energy, personally the energy, and the energy in the game to do that. Like, there's just no way I'm going to do that. And you get, like, maybe 100 crystals for getting 12,000 pieces, I think it was. No, if you gave me 500 crystals for that, maybe I'd do it. 1,000? Oh, heck yeah. Oh, 100%. But 100 crystals for 12,000 pieces? I'm not doing that. I'm sorry. Count me out on that. It, it just, it's just a huge energy sucker. And I, I'm not doing it. I'd rather save my energy and use it for things I can actually get good crystals with. Not do this and just grind all these pieces for nothing. I know you can get some cool things with the pieces. Um, but other than that, I, I'm not touching that. I pretty much stopped halfway through. Less than halfway through. I was like, yeah, this isn't enough. My energy's going down. So I'm just going to say goodbye and uh, leave this to the rest of the people to do. Because uh, screw that. I know you can get the uh, Vegeta tickets, which I was talking about earlier. Where you can actually go and get the guaranteed sparking ones. Which... I could do, but it's like, meh. I think you uh, you need a lot of star pieces for that, and it's just, like I said, don't have time. So, <laughs> I'm not doing that, but yeah, it, that's just another way of getting those pieces, or the, those tickets for Vegeta, and of course, a login bonus, which I'm pretty sure I said already, but it, it's early in the morning, and I just can't think right now, so apologize. I apologize if I already said it, but yeah, it's just like... I just, mm, legends, I, mm, my head hurts. So one thing that really irked me about this update was the new original series stories they added, which I, I like the Dr. Jero one because it gives me another chance to get more points for that Dr. Jero, which is fine. Like, I I mean, I could have done it earlier, but, you know, I have another chance. So, hey. But then the other one they added was with the uh, Vegeta, which the new uh, Sparking Vegeta, the green one. And I was like, oh, okay, without looking at it, uh, any of the information, I just went into it thinking, oh, I'm going to get that Vegeta. I'm going to get points for that Vegeta. And then half, I think maybe halfway through, I went to mission six, and I realized, oh, oh, I'm getting points for the extreme yellow Vegeta. Why? Why am I going against this Vegeta and getting points for the yellow Vegeta, which I already did way back then, where there's an actual, another original series story with that specific Vegeta. Now, you don't get points for that Vegeta in that story. You just get you know, crystals and equipment and stuff like that. I already got him through there and already have my Vegeta five stars. So why do my, why do they add that option? Why do they say, oh, so you're going to do this Vegeta, you're going to fight this Vegeta, thinking, oh, I'm going to get that Vegeta and get points for that green Vegeta, but you get the yellow Vegeta getting points for him. What? I mean, I'm getting crystals. I got 300 crystals in, like, less than an hour doing it, which I was happy about, but it's like, why? The whole Yamcha thing just, oh, God. It, it's, I feel like it's useless, but I, I do it because... There's different ways you can get different items, like you can get the uh, the skips, which I mean, that's not really necessary. You get skips like non-stop. I have over 100 of them, so I'm good. But you can get the energy tickets, which is very useful. You can get uh, super souls and stuff like that, equipment for Yamcha, but who? <laughs> who uses this Yamcha? And uh, yeah, it, it's kind of useful, but at the same time, it's like, you really could have added a different event. Like, you really could have added something very cool, but you're like, hey, we don't really have any ideas, so... Yapsha. So I really hope they step up their games on some new banners and events because I really hope they can just give us these events that can give you tons of crystals. Like, hey, here's your opportunity to get more crystals. I know they added a whole worldwide event thing which can get you uh, some crystals, like 50 crystals for certain things, which are pretty easy to do. So I thought that was kind of nice. But other than that, you get all these different meals so you can do your training and i think you get i think it was a hundred thousand maybe a million i don't want to give you guys wrong information but i know you get a lot of zenny in those missions but it's like meh could have been more could have been better but I, i'm not trying to degrade or like down legends i think it's a great game still for what it's got but i really hope in the future it you know updates itself and makes it better for the community because i mean i know there's a big huge update like i said before coming out eventually which i hope is very very good for us but right now, Dokin is looking just fantastic. Like I'm, like I, I don't want to compare the two or like bash any of them. But Dokin, the fourth anniversary has been spectacular. I got on it, and it's just like every day you get all these dragon stones. There's so many events to do, so many different missions to do to get different items and awakening medals to get your guys Dokin awakened. It's just so good, and I love it so much. It's so much fun. But yeah, it's just. 
I really hope Legends kind of wakes up, you know, like, it's just like, bruh, what are you doing? But yeah, guys, that's kind of what I want to talk about today. Uh, just, I didn't think I'd wake up to make a video like this, but, um, I guess it's a good way to kind of get out my opinion on Legends, and I hope maybe, I know this is not going to get across to them, but I hope maybe people can share or maybe give me your opinions about what Legends should do, because I really want this game to strive and uh or thrive i want this game to go out there you know and look better because at first it was good and then it kind of just now it's just not it's not doing too hot like i said Dokken's doing fantastic right now but i mean they have been in the game for four years so they know what they're doing but legends is just new and i hope they eventually get it together eventually but guys i hope you guys enjoyed my kind of rant just my opinion about legends of the new banners and stuff that came out i hope they like i said before many times uh, they do update things properly and make things better in the future, but uh, the whole cell games thing, it's, I mean, cool, but it's like, I don't want that cell, like I said, the, the banners are alright, that whole Android banner, you're not gonna get those Androids most likely, you'll probably get the ones you don't want, and you're probably not gonna get that cell, but I mean, it's just an opportunity to get that cell, I guess. And the whole Legends Premium thing with the Gohans, I'm not paying 16 bucks for tickets to just open that and get nothing, so... Yeah, kind of a letdown this time again. I was really hoping they get something better because I really wanted to open stuff for you guys. But I guess we'll wait again. I did buy some crystals, but I might hold off and just save up some crystals and maybe next week wait to see if maybe something new comes out and they open the banners for you guys. But yeah, that's it for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, hit like button, subscribe for more. I will see you guys later. Peace.